Welcome back everybody. Today we will discuss the mechanics of material problems related to principal stresses. So the problem is most nearly what are the principal stresses for the element of plane stresses shown below. Now when we have such problems we go to the stress and strain subsection at page 133 at the reference manual and for these questions we need to pay attention carefully for the sign conventions for sigma x and sigma y okay now um, you can see here that sigma x is going in the positive direction going outside from the element and the same for sigma y it's going also out from the plane so for this 20 megapascal so sigma x equals plus 20 megapascal for sigma y it's coming against its compression so it's negative 10 megapascal and for uh, the shear it's 35 megapascal and it's in the positive direction so tau xy equals 35 megapascal for the shear it is not that important for the sign convention because you will square it in the equation okay so the two non-zero principal stresses are c plus r and c minus r c is the center of more circle and r is the radius and r by the way it's the maximum in plane shear stresses if the if the question was related to the maximum in plane shear stresses you only evaluate r okay so c equals sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 so sigma x is plus 20 plus negative 10 divided by 2 and there is 20 minus 10 divided by 2 which is 5 megapascal for r we have it the square root of sigma x which is 20 minus sigma y which is minus 10 divided by 2 everything squared plus 35 squared now 20 minus minus 10 this is 30 30 divided by 2 this is 15 so we have the square root of 15 squared plus 35 squared so we have in here the square root of 15 squared plus 35 squared which is 38.07 So sigma A equals 5 plus 38.07, which is 43.07. And sigma B equals 2, 5 minus 38.07, which is negative 33. Point zero seven. So our answer is B.